CBS Atlanta News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Hey, good Sunday morning to everyone. I'm Brandon Rudat. It is an epidemic here in our country. We're talking about child abuse and neglect. Every year, there are more than 3.3 million reports of child abuse here in the United States. On average, a report of child abuse is made every 10 seconds. More than five kids die a day as a result of child abuse, and 30% of abused and neglected children will later abuse their own children, which contributes the horrible cycle of abuse. And those statistics show the United States has the worst record in industrialized nation for child abuse. But there is help out there. The National Safe Care Training and Research Center was established in 2007. It helps provide it helps provide help to families with a history of child abuse. Daniel Whitaker is the director of the National Safe Care Training and Research Center. Uh, Daniel here with us this morning talking about the statistics of this. Are we getting better as a country or are we getting worse when it comes to child abuse? Well, actually, the uh, rates of uh, physical abuse and sexual abuse have been declining over the last uh, 20 years. The rates of child neglect have not uh, changed a whole lot, however, uh, and child neglect is actually the most common form of maltreatment. It accounts for upwards of three quarters of the uh, cases of maltreatment. So abuse is getting better, neglect is getting worse. Why do you think neglect is getting worse? Well, I think one of the reasons is there really uh, are very few good proven interventions for child neglect. And in, in fact, there are um, uh, many proven interventions for child abuse, but uh, really we don't know a lot about how to address neglect. You know, as, as a street reporter, when I was out there covering the streets and, you know, we would uh, cover stories, you know, neglect, child neglect is usually almost what we'd call a throwaway charge at the very end of something. And it ends up usually always getting dropped when they go to court. Um, what a constitutes as child neglect? Is it such a wide array of issues that could constitute as it? Yeah, there really are uh, various forms of child neglect. There's, there's uh, environmental neglect, supervisory neglect, medical ne neglect, educational neglect. So, so yeah, I think there is a, the perception that physical abuse and sexual abuse are uh, more uh, detrimental, uh, but the data actually uh, tell us the opposite. Child neglect has the worst outcomes compared to the other forms of maltreatment. They're all bad, of course, right. but uh, neglect seems to be particularly detrimental. All right, very good. Take us through the structure of this program, a uh, Safe Care, and, and how it can, A, hopefully save a child's life. Right. Well, Safe Care is a uh, behavioral parenting intervention. Uh, we focus on three key skills that uh, we feel are important for preventing neglect and abuse. Um, those are parent child interactions, home safety, and child health. Uh, each of the modules, like I said, it's a behavioral program, so the real focus is on getting parents to do things uh, differently, to teach them skills, and, and improve the way they interact with their children and keep their home safe. And does it work? Yeah, uh, actually the data are, are accruing rapidly on safe care. There was a recent uh, trial published um, uh, in the journal Pediatrics uh, from the state of Oklahoma. Uh, I believe it's the largest study uh, on child uh, maltreatment ever published uh, with, within a child welfare system. And it showed that safe care reduced recidivism uh, of child neglect and abuse by about 25%. You know, they say the same thing with sex abuse, that if you are a victim of sex abuse, the likelihood that you go out and, and you know, perhaps be a predator, or if you're just a victim of abuse, just child abuse mm -hmm. in general, you model the patterns of of your parents. Is that what you have found in your research? Yeah, I think there is a, uh, there, there, there's a link there, maybe? There certainly is a link, and, and I think uh, the more risk factors you have uh, growing up as a kid, including uh, abuse and neglect, uh, the more likely you are to be uh, involved in, in a variety of, of problem behaviors when you're grown up, including abusing and neglecting your own children. What's the one thing you teach uh, when you teach these, these uh, specialty people out there, these, these risk assessors when they go out? What's the number one thing that they should be looking for? Well, we really focus on, on uh, the three skills uh, that, that I mentioned, uh, parenting, uh, home safety, and, and child health. And so uh, we try to uh, teach our, the, the folks we train, we, we try to teach them um, how to understand where a parent is uh, with those particular skills and then go teach them step by step how to improve the skills in those areas. And so that, that's sort of our approach is, is it's very much a skill training program. Do you think that there are parents out there who are neglecting their children that don't think what they're doing is actually neglect? Yeah, I would say that's 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 almost certainly the case uh, that that there are some, uh, and I mean I'll tell you we've we've encountered very few parents uh, who who don't want to be good parents. Uh, almost all parents are are motivated to. They're receptive to this. Oh, some I, would think that they're not. Some would think that 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 parents, yeah. if you come in 
and you start telling them how they should be better parents, how they should be doing something and what they're doing is wrong, one would think that they would automatically fight back with a guard saying, don't teach me, you know, no government agency right. needs to come in here right. and teach me how to raise my kids. Right. Well, I, I think if you approached it like that, they, there probably would be a guard. But, uh, uh, you know, our approach is, is to try to teach them things that can help them actually in their parenting. And I, I think if you phrase it and couch it the right way, uh, parents are extremely receptive to learning new things and, and trying new approaches. After all, uh, some of these parents are struggling with their children and, and uh, they, want, they want their lives and their kids' lives to be better. So um, we've, we've had very good success. The end goal here is obviously to have the children remain in the home, correct? Mm, remain in the home because that's important to them rather than, you know, having them taken away. Absolutely. All right. And so how do you how do you get to that phase? How do you, who makes that decision when you guys are out there? Are you guys basically teaching these risk assessors? There's varying degrees mm -hmm. of child neglect and, and there should become a point maybe where you know this parent isn't isn't a good enough parent to even have these kids right now and this one's workable or teachable right well usually those decisions are made by state or county um, right. child welfare agencies the folks we usually work with are, are often private providers uh, uh, nonprofits um, those folks will go in and actually do um, parent training using our model or, or whatever model they're using and so uh, usually the folks we work with their job is to help the parent improve and then it's it's the job of uh, somebody from a governmental body either county or state to come in and, and make determinations about whether uh, the parent whether the child is is safe to stay with the parent all right Daniel Whitaker thank you very much and coming up here on public affairs on peach what does safe care training entail we're gonna sit down with a training specialist to see what they look for inside of an at-risk home when we come back